This is one of the best chess tricks you will ever see where white have to do a brilliant move in order to win versus a queen here. But which rook you will play check first? You will play rook to c7 check first or you will play rook to a7 check first. So pause the video and try to find which one is the right move. Welcome back. So if you play the rook to a7 check first, he will play his king to d8. And right now you can't use your other rook to c8 because of his king. So if you played your rook to a8 check again, he will return to the same place. We'll just do a repetition check with rook and it will be a draw. So it must be rook c7 check first. If he went to d6, he will just play rook a6 check and you will take his queen and win. But that's not the trick. If he moved his king to e8, that's a checkmate right away. And if he moved his king to e6, the same you will take his queen from here. So his best move is to play the king to d8. So you don't play rook checkmate and at the same time he's attacking your rook in c7. Now with a brilliant move, sacrifice your rook from h7, attacking his queen. Okay, what happens if he takes the rook here? Rook e8 check, he must move his king and rook e7 check again. He will move his king and you take his queen and win. But what if he didn't take the rook here and played queen to d6 check? You will play rook d2 and his queen is pinned now and he lost his queen and you win here. But what if he went to c6? Now you can't do a checkmate from here and also you can't play rook check and take his queen. But you will sacrifice this rook now from a8 and that checkmate he must take with queen. And rook h8 check must move his king and you take his queen and you win here with white. And that's the only way to win with white in this end game. If you enjoyed it make sure to like the video and thank you for watching.